I was a little bored, okay, looking back at this video and I decided to completely change my whole lips, hair, face and look completely different. This is a LA bimbofication video, if you will, okay? It took me a lot of money, a lot of time. This video was filmed over a month. It is not a week process, so. I got my lips tinted, I got my hair done, laser, all that. So I added everything and came up to a total of $5,000 for this full LA bimbo look. And this is the finished result. It's giving, as somebody said, white girl summer. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. Well, let's go. Hey guys, so today I'm actually on the way to get myself. I'm gonna get my lip blush touched up. I had it done before and I wanna do it again. Okay, so this is what the before of my lips look like. And I just want her to like match my bottom lip to the top lip. This is my little artist. <laughs> my natural queens today i'm gonna get my laser done a lot of you have seen the worst review bikini wax video if you have seen it you know i got it done and a lot of people were like how did you get that done if you do laser well i did laser like a year year and a half ago and i just stopped doing it because i just don't have hair in my body guys like i'm super smooth i just like my hand that's like no hair it's like laser is one of the best things i've ever invested my money in i always tell bitches like before you get your first chanel bag your designer bag whatever go get yourself laser even like before you get your boobs done lips whatever go get laser you will thank me later today i booked my appointment but that's laser way right there i'm getting my full body i'm getting underarms bikini leg if you guys plan to do it with laser way they have 65 percent off hair removal they have 50 percent off cool sculpting and they only charge like ten dollars per botox per unit but yeah if you ever want to go to laser way remember these offers i'm so excited to go get persian food after this my fridge is m a t it's called farsi cafe okay i'm gonna go online. i love you just finished my laser and can i just say this was so cool the girl who did my body it was so cool and chill i loved her we were just like sitting and talking the whole time she's persian so i'm gonna go get some persian food how apt but she gave me a bunch of recommendations i have to check it out but i have to go pick up my food now three weeks later so i have tinted my lips before i've always filmed it you guys know it's it's a little crazy first because it does swell up a lot but it's not permanent i promise you there it's just a color this is what I love that like every single time I'm walking here and like I'm not showing you my face, okay? That's just embarrassing. But I love her, you guys. If you live in LA, you need to go get your lips done by her. Her name is Nika Brow Babe, like on um Insta. They are so badly like plumped up, but they don't say this way as you know, and the color fades away too. Don't freak out, but I've never been so happy with my lips. Oh no, there's an old man coming. I'm just gonna look down like this. Okay, see you guys later. Okay. A luggage today like not a pr package like a luggage like a straight up trolley there's a knife in there okay and it's by i'm so thankful to away for sending me a shit ton of makeup and skincare and hair color i needed one for today's event lashes we've got what are these oh my god i'm so like overwhelmed there's a lot of like vitamins and hair shout out to away for sending me a bunch of stuff isn't pr and marketing insane in la they just like go full out they fall. hello my beautiful big titty bitches today's vlog is an exciting one i'm heading to prada to get another bag if you guys remember this bag everyone and their mom loved it it's like a little shiny oh i gotta hit it with the sun hold on shiny and pretty and like perfect and like i had to be on like a wait list i had to pick it up from dubai lately had to send it to me for everyone else's story so i decided to get myself the white bag it's the same bag but it's the white rhinestone but oh my god my cameras used to look so bad and not a fucking told me my audio was bad my video and look at this i'm just like walking around to see if it's looking good and it is comment down below let me know genuinely do you like the quality of this is this better do you think like i'm next to you let me know insane this is a very expensive camera i'm actually at this drive through um to chick-fil-a i'm gonna get some food i'm so excited isn't it such a cute camera to the one that i had in aspen yeah it's a lot better how much was it a thousand dollars yeah, shit. Just this month, I've spent $5,000. I don't want to think about it, honestly. It makes me want to cry. A few moments later. Let's get back home and... So I have my little Prada bag here. Let's open her up. So we have a cute box. Ready? No. Stop. The most prettiest Prada bag on planet Earth. This is what it looks like. This is like a perfect night bag. You know what I mean? It's like so shiny. Imagine walking around the middle of the night. 
and this is what you're wearing. Isn't it so pretty? Oh. So this is the Prada um, authentic card or whatever they call it. Like. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to some fun stuff. Sephora and I picked up, I picked up this new face advanced toning device. Again, I'm not one of those girlies who believe in like, you know, tools like this. It just screams gimmick. I just know this is not gonna give me a skinny face, the high cheekbones, but TikTok again. It has me on a chokehold. Whatever they sell and promote, I have to go get it. So I'm gonna definitely put this on a test. It's a lot of freaking money. I was not happy spending that much money. Next thing I went to is Ulta Beauty. I'm new to Ulta, I never, I wanted to open an account with them. They give me a cute like gift bag. It's usually gonna be like little sample size stuff. You know what I mean? A few moments later. Okay, the sparking is so cool because there are a bunch of Tesla spark in there. I see an empty spot. Right next to me, there's a red Tesla. So I usually just park my Tesla here and just eat, chill, do whatever I want. And you pay little to no money versus the other chargers are like random chargers and they, they're just like really slow. So I have my Bria tacos in here. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I got two different Bria tacos. I got soft tacos and I got hard tacos. I'm gonna dip it in. Oh my God, this is so delicious. It took me 24 years to have the best burrito taco in town. Okay, let me show you. This is the best part about Tesla. Um, we're almost done. To fill up a whole gas tank. Uh, girlies, um, $16, goodbye. Remember when I first got the Tesla, all the gas driving bitches, especially men. Men have like a weird f***ing like trigger. Like there's something up their ass, I think, because anytime a girl gets a car, they have something to say. And I remember when I got my Tesla first, all the guys who drive a gas car was like out of their mind. They're like, oh my God, it's not even a car. It has four wheels. It has four wheels. And it has a pedal, it is a car. And they're like, Tesla is not even a car because when you press the pedal, bro, it's supposed to be gassy. It's supposed to be room, room, where the fuck is this? And I'm like, shut the fuck up. In LA, like there's this whole talk about how gas is so expensive now. Everyone's trying to get horses. Everyone's trying to buy a camel, walk instead, and like just dump their car because it's mind blowing how like a sedan, like a cheap Civic Nissan sedan is like costing $80 to fill up their whole tank. $80 is something that you fill up like a Lamborghini in Dubai, a G-Wagon, I don't know. It's like mad fucking expensive. So everyone's like crying in the corner and the electric bitches, aka me, are living their life and you can't say nothing about it, okay? So this is for the dumb gas bros, suck my I just spent $10 that you probably use for your floss on my car and I don't have to do it again for the next month. Later. Moving on to the main segment of the video that everyone's waiting for, it's bleaching my hair. Yes, we took it all the way to bleaching one session in one day. It's a lot on my hair, but my hair is very strong, very thick, it can handle it. it my hair is really good quality only because I don't ever apply heat on my hair. It's very rare I do, maybe once a month. Please do not bleach your hair all on time. If it's like strangly and noodly at the end, it will fall off. So we succeeded, my hair was really good quality and then we decided to give it like two weeks off and then bleach it again. So this is just a session one. I will take you guys to session two again but yes i did go platinum blonde i don't think i've ever been platinum blonde and, and then we toned it now you can see the actual like ash blonde brown that i wanted to go for for the first time ever in my entire life i did face la traffic i'm stuck in right now wait let me give you a little sneak peek and show you the traffic but i naturally do have like brass tones because my natural hair is black i'll just naturally pull like a lot of orange and red tones you know what i mean okay so i just got some chipotle god there's so many homeless people in la they didn't lie um, it's just that I don't like, I, I don't know how to like deal with them. Like, what do I say? What do I do? I walked up to Chipotle, I got some food and then the people inside were like, do not talk to the man outside. Why would you do that? And I'm like, sorry, I'm new here. Like, I just, I, I, it wasn't my, I didn't plan. I, I didn't want to do that, but what? They did not just forget you guys. Oh, I'm going to cry. They forgot, they forgot my cut, Larry. I have to go home and eat. This is the most blonde you'll ever see me because I have to go back in for session two. I just have to highlight a little bit and then I need to add in some dark roots, like dark roots here, dark pieces in here. Three days later. It's day 500 and I'm going to go get my hair done by another salon today. Unfortunately, the girl that who did my hair like made me blonde in one day. Y'all, she's just too good that I'm, she like, she's totally fully booked up, like fully booked up. And I need to quickly go get my hair done because I have unfortunately I'm flying to New York you guys on May 20th because YouTube invited me for their like YouTube shorts award whatever I, I that just came out of nowhere and number two I have a sponsorship that I need to film again I can't just look like this I want to do like root smudge all the way till here and I think I want to do low lights and like dark lights like here but look at how good my fucking hair looks session two we just got some root smudge and low lights to add more dimension to the hair 
got my hair done. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I just went to CVS, um, $200 done for. Back home and you guys, I oiled my hair for the first time ever. I haven't oiled my hair in like freaking ages. I get really angry when I have to oil my hair. I don't know what it is. It brings me like flashbacks to like me with my mom and she would like pull every single strand of my head. You know what I'm talking about? It's like everything gets oily and this is the oil. Oh my God. I went to Sally's Beauty, Sally Beauty. But I'm sure hairdressers hate the store because they have everything that hairdressers use. I bought so many hair products. And I only paid $100. In my opinion, it's so inexpensive. So I got to show you everything. Total, I paid like $300. I know a lot, but like I care about my hair when it's blonde versus when it's black. When it's black, I genuinely just don't do anything. I just shower and my hair takes care of itself. But so I got the Silk Fusion Chi, whatever, castor oil, my purple shampoo. So this is the for blondes shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo, shampoo and conditioner for blue, for brunette and this is for blondes if you can tell i'm a boat so i mix all of them together and you mix them all up so i get the perfect like shade this actually works i tried only the shampoo today it toned so fucking beautiful love this if you are a blonde or a brunette check this out i will link it i will link all these products below even though i bought all of them from cvs so i bought these two brow sets this is to touch up my Re protect and spray Ooh, some sleek shine and i just got some makeup wait i totally forgot i got this mask too next morning okay so this is the finished result of my hair with shit ton of makeup and um ow um and my roots are a little darker now so that's good it looked really light on camera on my vlogging camera i don't know why I, I really wouldn't call this blonde it is a bronze because there are a lot of blonde pieces at the bottom and then you can see there's so many it's like really brown at the top that's why they call this bronze because people argue this is blonde no this is brown this is bl they keep fighting in the comments and i'm gonna get like it's not even blonde it's brown but it's called a bronze because it looks so because i think it's so much lighter so much lighter in real life than how the camera is picking it up but yeah i love this hair color i'm gonna stick with it for a little bit and then i'm gonna get bored you know me i'm gonna come back to black wait why is it light like this yeah. next morning we're going to the beach and um we're gonna take some sunset pictures that's what she wants for her birthday i guess oh my god look at us we look like dolls right it's now it's giving kylie could never kavya do you want to guess how lo how much what the price was for my full hair transformation why I'm from black to blonde. Full black to blonde, no haircut, little hair trim. Okay, I'm like really bad with guessing hair prices and I've never dyed my hair and I like don't. <gasps> yeah, care. guys, this is her virgin black hair. Like what she was born with, she's like a in bitch, that. Bitch, if I go broke in LA, I'm selling it. <laughs> yeah, oh my right, god, great. fuck yeah. Bitch, if we can't pay our rent by month, it's bust. I forgot, <laughs> Indian hair shit is so expensive. Guys, you don't no. understand, our hair, like, look at how good quality, my hair like went through 16 bleach sessions. Like look insurance. at how the quality of my hair no, is. Like, you're, you're your hair is still thick, shiny, like it looks like you've never done anything. So, you know my biggest compliment, people, like some people always like see me and they're like, oh my god, is this a wig? And I'm like, oh, yes. you, I love that. That is the, guys, this actually looks like a wig. It literally does. Okay, yeah. wait, let me guess how much it was. Yeah. Like 350. 350 to trim my hair maybe or smell my hair? No. For $800. $800, Kavya. That's a lot. I, get I guess you have a lot of hair. No, no, yes. no. I think that's normal. I got in my own tone. Number one, I got what I wanted, but yeah. I had to go to two different ladies because the one, the first one, she killed my hair. Like she was so good at it. Yeah. She bleached my hair, and people were like, "How the f did she bleach her?" So th she was amazing. But then I couldn't go with her again because she was booked fully to oh, like okay. July, dude. So I had to go to another lady in Beverly Hills. Oh, so that's actually really scary because I'm making two people like play with my hair, and they yeah. both don't do not know what the Each other person other, used. And they don't. You don't want them to like. Ruin it up. So this is my finished LA vacation look. I'm gonna move to Texas soon and I might do a whole Texas look soon. But I'll see you guys in my next video.